Welcome to Leisha Today. So I got an uh, interesting video for you guys today. So this is my first time making a tea light night light using my laser engraver and some basswood plywood. So I just designed this whole thing in XCS and I used a box maker. So if you guys are interested in seeing how a quick tutorial on how you can make one of these, please stay tuned. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to a box maker website and I'm going to make this a smaller box. So I'm just going to do everything by three. So you can type in whatever dimensions that you want to use. And then um, for the material thickness, I'm going to leave it at one eighth inch. So that's about the three millimeter um, basswood plywood that I use. I'm going to make it an open box and then I want to put fingers on it and then I'm just going to change it until it looks how I like. So I want it to have at least two. Alright, so then I'm going to download the box and I'm going to leave it on panels disabled. I don't want them to have the words on it. And then from there, I'm just going to put download the SVG. I'm coming to go over to Excel Creative Space and I'm going to open the image. So it was box three. Okay. And from here, you can add whatever design you want to do. So I think I'm going to put in just some quick shapes. So this looks cute. So we can do something like this on one side. And then you just move it until you see that it aligns. So then I'm going to highlight this all. And then I'm going to do combine, subtract. So then when I look at it and it engraved, this is what it'll look like. So I'll just put some text, see if we can get something that like connects to each other. I'm gonna put So I'm just gonna put in like a little rectangle so that I can make them all connect. like so and I'm gonna highlight both and then I'm gonna do combine unite and then I'm gonna bring it down I'm gonna highlight everything again and then I'm gonna do combine subtract and then I'm gonna highlight it so that I can see what it'll look like when it engraves and to me that looks good all right, so then we'll just leave one side with nothing. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all of these to cut. I'm going to change the material to 3 millimeter basswood plywood. And then we're going to get the pass with plywood and we're going to put it into the X tool S1. All right, so I'm going to put my 12 by 12 inch basswood plywood onto my honeycomb. And I'm just going to clamp it down so it stays in place. Then I'm going to put my laser over and then I'm going to hit the distance button. 
So this is gonna measure the distance from the plywood or the basket of plywood to the laser. Here I'm gonna do start marking and I'm gonna do rectangle, start marking. And so I'm gonna mark the top left corner and the bottom right corner. I'm gonna hit end marking, done. This gives me, you can see this box, this gives me the area of where all of this is gonna be cut out. So what I need to do is I'm gonna move these squares inside of the, um, inside of the box I just marked, which would be the material that I um, put in there, the basswood plywood. All right, so then once everything is on, I'm gonna change this too to do two passes um, because I haven't did a materials test yet on this one um, to get the exact ones where I would only need to do one pass. So I'm just gonna put two passes just to make sure it cuts all the way through. Then I'm gonna hit process start of course I need to close the lid so I close the lid to the s1 I'm gonna confirm so I'm gonna do process again start then from here I'm gonna turn my fan on my inline fan and then I'm gonna hit start Okay, so it took about 12 minutes. Okay, so the you can see how the pieces kind of have like a little bit of the burnt edges on it. So all you have to do is just take like maybe some alcohol and a baby wipe and just rub those off but for in general um so this part is the bottom piece right here so then you'll just attach all the pieces together we'll do it up here so basically you will just take all the pieces and attach it looks like you probably have to glue it on but I'm going to try to attach it for you guys to see um, All right, so as you can see, it's not glued, but you can see like using that box maker pretty much just gets you, as long as you put the dimensions in right, gets you the perfect box here. And then I'll get a, um, so then you can glue your edges and so that'll all be um, together. And then I'll go get a little tea light to show you guys the end product. So I'm just gonna do, use this craft glue and just do a quick little gluing real quick. So that at least it will stay so I can pick it up but you can use wood glue probably be better to use like some wood glue to do this but I'm just trying to show you guys real quick
All right, so I just put some of that little craft. This is called Craft Bond Extra Resistance. So this is really like some really good glue. So I put that together. So now everything is like all together. So then I'll, go, I'll show you guys um, if you put a tea light in it, how it looks. So let's go to the dark. All right, you guys, so this is how it looks in the dark. So I have the little tea light in it. So it's a cute little night light. All right, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay blessed. Take care.